Two days out from a critical national cabinet meeting, Sky News can reveal the federal government's proposal to cap gas prices and have New South Wales and Queensland cap the domestic coal price. Political editor Andrew Clennell has the specifics. For those that are just tuning in, Andrew, talk us through the numbers. What's being proposed? So the federal government has this plan ahead of national cabinet. It's gone to the New South Wales and Queensland governments. It's saying we will put in place a cap on wholesale gas prices, $13 a gigajoule, retailing for as much as $40 at the moment. And on coal, $125 per tonne. They want the states to implement a cap. And this is the sticking point. There's no suggestion in this plan, in this offer, if you can even call it that, of any compensation going to coal companies, generators or states. Nothing on the table in terms of financial incentive, which we know the Queensland government has been after for royalties. And in a place like a Raring Power Station, which supplies 20% of the power to New South Wales, they are currently paying $200 a tonne. So they are calling on the coal companies to just about halve their price there. And we know the exports, well, they're going for up to $600 a tonne. So you can see how dramatic this intervention in the market that's being proposed is. It really is dramatic action being proposed by the federal government. What's interesting too is they put in the federal budget that power prices were to go up 56% in two years, gas prices 18, uh, sorry, 40% 40, 40 in 18 months, and yet they're saying, we'll look after gas, sorry, coal, the power bills, that's the state's problem. So Angus Taylor, he was an energy minister. 40% of this power bill rise that's forecast was on his watch. It's just been passed through, announced in July, coming in February. But he warned about caps. He said, and this has been a consistent opposition line for weeks, of unintended consequences because you get less investment potentially in gas, for example, if you put on a price cap. This is an area where you can have all sorts of unintended consequences with government intervention if you haven't thought it through clearly. Um, the government has been running around in circles for a long time on it. There's been lots of talk about lots of different uh, potential solutions. So let's get to that compensation question. Queensland expecting with its new tiered tax arrangement, the coal royalties, to generate about $3 billion in revenue this financial year alone from those tax set-up, uh, the tax arrangement. What sort of compensation, if any, would be required to get them across the line? I guess that's the question. They've got the energy yeah, ministers yeah. tomorrow, the Prime Minister and the Premier's on Friday. You'd think that something's got to be forthcoming. I think it'd be a billion dollars for both states. I mean, I, I, it's a bit of a guess, let's face it, but... When you're talking about those sort of royalties, it's not like they wouldn't get royalties still, but it's at, at reduced cost. And uh, I, I guess it would be going uh, to the coal companies would be the suggestion, as well as the royalties in New South Wales. So certainly in the hundreds of millions, you'd expect. The other concern out of this, Kieran, I've got to say, is you put on these caps... Do you get less gas supply out of the companies? Does it work, essentially? Do, or does it bring it down just 10 or 20%, the 56% increase? And is that enough for you politically or indeed enough for businesses and so forth? It just seems a bit of an... E and I know it's been discussed at the federal government level, an easier process. I know people have warned it's inflationary to do some sort of direct subsidy of bills, particularly with other factors at play like ageing coal-fired power generators, rather than these caps. But as things stand today, I suspect we'll see the gas cap put through this week, but the coal price cap, discussions to continue around that. Very hard to see Anthony Albanese putting it to the states at this late stage without any compensation, getting this through by Friday afternoon. Talk us through... You, you spoke about the $125 coal cap and where that sits in, in current market terms. Give us the, the broader picture with the gas as well at, at $13 per gigajoule, a cap of that, of that nature. Well, we are seeing some long-term contracts between, say, Santos and Brickworks, I think it was, at the $12 a gigajoule. So that, that, that's pretty much where it is. But uh, open sale on the market, you're looking at $40 a gigajoule. 
and that's again a lot cheaper than overseas. But you can see that's a more than halving of the price gas companies can get that the government wants to introduce. And you've had Ed Husick, the industry minister, including with you on a couple of occasions, pretty outspoken on this. He said without that sort of cap, manufacturers will go broke. The AWU's been pushing that. The Treasurer, Jim Chalmers, has been pushing that. Fairly certain that will happen because you don't need any state agreement on that. I guess the federal government's trying to use that as leverage to say to the states, you should cap coal as well. Andrew Clonell, we'll see you at the top of the hour. Thank you. Very interesting story from Andrew today.